running so much game, I tore my ACL. I said that I need a short thing. She said, okay, Miguel. Hey, what's up, guys? Happy New Year's. Um, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I will be consistently posting more, so keep an eye out every week. This week, we're actually starting league, so very excited for that. Um, I mean, I, our preseason was definitely a learning experience for me just because of uh, all the things I had to learn along the way in terms of, you know, just running the team and, you know, organizing the players and just trying to, you know, be that leader that can get, you know, his vision out and make it into reality with the, with the players that I have. And I feel like we've come to a point where we... We, we play the style that I envisioned. Now it's just, you know, the finished product is what we need to work on. So we're, we're peaking at the right moment. I mean, we haven't won a game, but that's not really what stress, that's not, I mean, at the end of the day, the, the preseason results don't really matter. Well, to me, at least they don't matter. Um, it's now that season's here that now we gotta, you know, step it up a little and start fighting the, the goal, so. A bad thing right now that I'm sure you guys are aware of is, you know, COVID is coming back again and a lot of people are, you know, getting sick and I, I already have a few players that, that might not play just because they're they're feeling, you know, they have symptoms so they have to get tested and stuff and now it's like really hard to get a test so it's going to take them a few, you know, a couple, you know, days or weeks for them to get tested and get the results so yeah, I mean, that's that's life in 2022 starting off. Uh, hopefully, you know, they don't cancel league because that would be a big bummer. And this is something I've been looking forward to for, you know, a good while. So let's hope that's not the case. And yeah, in ter that's just the team right now. Um, in terms for me, I'm tr I want to change a lot of things. I know 2021 for me was more of a... A year to reflect and to you know just find myself and and just try to find peace and I feel like now I'm at that moment where I kind of know how to you know be happy you know without expecting like results or anything just being happy with myself being able to not think about the future or the past so that way I just stay present and just enjoy the moment while I can so so yeah I feel like I'm in that stage now now 2022 is a year of uh, routine and action so yeah, I already have like my goals set up. I'll explain to you guys later how I set it up. So that way, you know, if you guys wanna try it out, you can go for it. I mean, this is my first time trying it out. So so my big goal is to, you know, just stand by it and to see, hopefully get results. I'm sure I'm gonna get results because now it's all about action and I'm gonna already have like a set way to to write down day by day what, what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, um, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Miguel Spinoza, for those who don't know. I am an aspiring coach. Well, I am a coach, I'm a high school coach. My big goal in life right now is to give the players that, that you know, aspire to go, you know, play at a high level uh, soccer, to give them the, the guidance and the, the resources needed in order for them to, you know, succeed. Because for me, I never had that. Um, I've torn my ACL three times. And I never really had that uh, guidance or that support for me to, you know, go through the trials and tribulations and, you know, pursue soccer or pursue anything that I, you know, want to achieve. I had to learn that through, you know, doing my own research. So now that I have some knowledge and I continue to learn, I want to spread that to, to the youth and um, just have people find peace at a earlier stage of their lives so that way they can you know they can just go ahead and you know just live their lives the way they they you know they want to so so yeah that's my goal right now um hopefully i i give you guys some inspiration and some you know some little gems that you guys could take along the way and to you know improve your guys' lives as well but yeah so you're gonna see my journey from i'm literally you know at the moment i live with my parents um i did live with roommates at one point but decided to move back because we all split and yeah, so now my goal is to you know become the entrepreneur that I'm inspired to be that that coach that I want to become like my big goal is to either coach you know at a professional level 
or you know coach at an academy because I do want to work with high level athletes and you know to push them forward to you know, become that that professional and get that contract at a high level environment so so yeah you're gonna see my ups and downs my trials and tribulations uh things that I'm gonna learn along the way and hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes um learn from my accomplishments and hopefully you guys will see my my life go from you know low income to you know the entrepreneur that I want to become <laughs>
guys. Um, it's around like nine o'clock. Kind of mad because I've been wanting to go on runs in the morning, but I've been trying to go like at six. But I just can't wake up on time. That's one of my goals in the in the list I wrote was to wake up at around five or six to go on a run, read for a little, and then just like like meditate or there's this thing called the Wim Hof method. But yeah, I've been doing that and actually it feels really good after I uh, I do that method. Um, my body feels super relaxed and I just feel at peace and just present. Today's game day, so I'm very excited for that. Um, we play against Saddleback, which is a school that's always known to be pretty good with their with their men's program or the boys program. Yeah, but right now I'm just gonna work on some things that I wrote down on my goal list for today. Yeah, speaking about my goal list, uh, I'll quickly, briefly just uh, talk about what I have on the goal on my goal setting list. So first things first on the list, I wrote um, things I want to change from 2021 going into 2022. So before I used to uh, smoke uh, a lot of marijuana and uh, I know it doesn't sound like good and all, but I'm always around friends that do that. So I just got into it. But that's definitely something that I've changed. Um, haven't done so yet. So very happy about that change. Um, I also wrote a couple things like to read more, to go and explore more, like go out and go to the beach and just things like that. Cause there's a lot of things around me that I haven't done. So just those type of things, like don't no more drinking alcohol, especially when I go out because that environment is just based off of, you know, drinking and having fun. And you can have fun without drinking alcohol. So just, just little things like that, that I've been changing that I feel like would definitely benefit me in the long run. So if you're like a kid watching, I would say um, change the, the habit of, you know, playing video games for for too long and change the fact that you, instead of training once a day, you're gonna focus on training five times a day or just things like that, you know? So once you have the change list, once you have your list for change, now you make the list for the year, your goals for the year. I forgot to mention, so after you do the, the changes for 2021 to 2022, um, in the goal settings for the year, uh, what I did, and I, I based it off of specific categories um, based on the goals that I do want to achieve. So so for example, I have the personal goals, uh, I have my business goals for Athletic Ascent and any other businesses that I want to you know, do this year. Um, I also have my health goals. So that's an area where I can put like the working out goals and you know eating better, um, those type of goals. Um, and then I have for for me, I have like my coaching goals and you know slash soccer. So I could put there like for example this year I want to do um, get into a professional not professional. <laughs> I want to get to a semi pro team. So that's one of my goals in in that year goal in a year goal category. Um, and then I also have like social media goals or content creation goals. So like for my YouTube, like get this amount of subscribers or stuff like that. So that's basically how I do the, the year goals. And then once I have all those written down, then I go into the, my monthly goals. And that's when I basically think of the, like, for example, the month of January, uh, write down a couple goals based off of my year goal. And see what I can accomplish this month. And uh, yeah, I wrote goals based off each category. And then from there, from that month, I go to weekly goals. And for the weekly goals, it's the same thing, same process. So you go look at the monthly goals and see what you can do for the week to get closer to those goals. And then from the week, then you go to the day goals, which is basically uh, like a to-do list uh, based off of your weekly goals. That's basically it. Um, so yeah, uh, going back to where I was running and talking to you guys. Hopefully it all makes sense. Um, and if it didn't, sorry. I know I have this thing where like, I'm walking around and there's like people watching and I just kind of freeze up and just don't know what to say. And I just blank out. Um, it kind of happened to me when I was doing the, the Sunday League video that I made. Uh, so I haven't edited it yet. So I'm curious to see how it came out, but 
But yeah, man, I mean, I gotta get used to this because I'm really trying to pursue this YouTube thing. Uh, trying to, you know, inspire players like you or anyone that's watching to, you know, pursue their, their passions and their goals in life. In order for me to do that, I gotta be comfortable with the uncomfortable. But yeah, right now I'm gonna go home, shower, get some work done from the from my to-do list that I have today and then I head to the game. So I forgot to record at the field, but we lost four to two. I think we lost the match. They didn't beat us, we lost it because we could have easily won. Um couple things I think um, our center mids were very disorganized and lost and just you know left big gaps in the middle which is surprising because I had four in the middle when we we're um, playing um, for those who don't know um, I'm playing like a 4-2-3-1 formation and I kind of just uh, play based off of like uh, Arsenal if you've seen them play before yeah unfortunately um, we definitely um, we lost because of our defensive mistakes as well. So, yeah, there's a lot to work on tomorrow. But, yeah, I feel like hopefully on Friday we'll be ready to play against uh, my old high school, Estancia High School. But on the positive side, um, we've scored two goals. I mean, all preseason we only <laughs> we were only able to get three goals. So to score two is a is a very positive sign for us. So yeah, uh, we learned from this. Uh, hopefully the boys, you know, are ready for the next one. Because, yeah, I'm just trying to look past this game. And hopefully get them again at home and, you know, get the result that we won, that, that we want. So I forgot to record, so I'll record, I'll definitely record at the game that, that we're playing on Friday. So yeah, um, I don't have much to do right now, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Two days later. What's up? So today's a big day. Uh, we're gonna play against the school that I went to, Estancia High School. I am just getting to the school, to the high school right now that I coach at. I'm gonna take the bus over there and yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be coaching against. Uh, I'm gonna be assistant coach to the varsity team, so but I'm gonna be there against you know against my former my old coach so. Pretty cool, pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, can't wait. So, JV lost 2-0. Varsity, we lost 6-2. This is a tough pill to swallow because, like I said, it was my old school. Um, JV, I mean, we just couldn't finish our chances. Um, second half, I mean, first half, we kind of, defensively, we were a little sloppy. That's why in the first goal, um, from the perspective of my brother, I don't really remember it because I got heated. <laughs> I just, so first half, uh, we got two goals scored on early. One was a penalty. The other one was a, uh, was our, our defense just ball watching and, you know, having a, the runner from behind coming and scoring. So that was early in the game, but then towards the end and all of second half, we were just dominating and just pushing towards, uh, you know, the goal, but like I said, um, final third has been the problem. We haven't been able to create chances or, you know, get shots on target in order for us to get goals in. So 
So yeah, that was a uh, those are JB. And as for our varsity, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, they got I think hats to Estancia. They they played really well. Um, they were really disciplined and organized. They have really fast forwards. They had a number ten that was very, very good with the ball. And yeah, I mean, we had a couple chances. I mean, we did score two goals. Um, there is a chance for us to go three two down. We're down. We were down three zero, and then we scored two goals. We could have scored two goals, but that free kick just went out, just barely. Or else we, I feel like we would have been back in the game. But yeah, man. I mean, it's still a lot of work to be done, like a lot. But we do have the quality. It's just you know. It's just now knowing how to play the system and getting our players to the final third and being able to score. But yeah, um, a lot to you know take a lot to learn, a lot to learn, and you know Monday we're back on the field and getting ready to to play our next game for JVs on Friday and for Varsity's on Wednesday. So yeah, hopefully now we can turn it around and. Try to at least make um, playoffs. So yeah, uh, if, you, if you guys saw it all the way through, thank you for watching. I'll, I'll try to make the vlogs more entertaining. I know it's been like just little things of my life and shit. So I'll try to add more. Um, I'll try to put more footage of like, I don't know, just like things around me. Like like how other YouTubers do. Just to make it more entertaining and more, um, more like a show. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.